Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Discussing about lateral directional dynamic stability, and in particular, we are trying to find out if there is a simplified way of understanding this phenomena which would help designers to initially freeze some design parameters. That is the basic requirement. We have discussed about longitudinal dynamic stability. We have assumed that disturbances are small and even the steady state angle of attack are small or we are talking about small angle of attack. We also assume the rates are also small. Why? For simple reason, if rates are very high among in the longitudinal plane, if angle of attack is very high, then this longitudinal di disturbance uh, dynamics will also have an effect on the lateral or directional dynamics. Since we have assumed small angle of attack, small perturbation, we have assumed that longitudinal dynamics is decoupled from lateral directional case. But now when we are talking about lateral directional case, lateral directional case, we understand lateral means Lateral means if this is the airplane, this is the x axis, this is y, this is z. Lateral means we are talking about motion about x axis, roll or bank, and directional is motion about z axis, yaw. Right? Okay. But one thing you should understand that lateral and directional case they cannot be decoupled generally. That is, you can understand if suppose this is the directional case that is right wing is going back what will happen as right wing goes back this left wing will come forward so the relative air speed of the left wing will increase and the lift will increase so it will bank also so there is a coupling between directional and lateral case so reverse will be there if there is a lateral disturbance there will be a directional influence on the whole airplane dynamics that is why we need to go with lateral directional case together. We are not decoupling lateral and directional case. Although you will see some approximate studies where only you assume lateral dynamics and directional dynamics separately also yield some useful information, especially for the designers. Right? And our approach was first to write the equations of motion, which already we have derived. Now introduce perturbation and then follow the similar steps as we have done for longitudinal case. So, we will take one equation and we will try to revisit and we will see that you are very comfortable, nothing extra we are doing here as far as technique is concerned. If I take equations along y, force equation along y, so along y direction, force equation, then rolling moment about x, yawing moment about z, this three that is this motion, this motion and this motion. That is if you see like this, this motion along y, roll about x and yaw about z. Right? So, I will take first y equation and if you recall the equation was of the form m v dot plus u r. Let me write this in w 1 into p is equal to m g sin theta 1 plus theta 1 or I do not write 1 m g sin theta. Let me check it m v dot plus u r minus w p. I do not put 1 here. Now, at this point this is the general equation w p equal to m g sin phi cos theta. So, this is wrong m g 
sine phi cos of theta plus f a y and you can always write f t y. So let me check again on the right hand side it is m g sin phi yes cos theta correct f a y this is fine. This is the equation of motion along y direction right. What was v? v was the component of total velocity along local y direction that is if this is the plane, this is the x, this is the y, this is the z and this, this is the total velocity v t or v star whatever you write then if this v is the component of this velocity resolved along y direction of the body fixed axis system right. Now next step was introduce perturbation. So, we introduce perturbation what we have to do v will be equal to v 1 plus small v all small quantities are perturbed quantities, but they are small perturbation then u equal to u 1 plus small u r equal to r 1 plus small r then w equal to w 1 plus small w p equal to p 1 plus small p similarly you could see phi equal to phi 1 plus small phi theta equal to theta 1 plus small theta then f a y is equal to f a y 1 plus f a y I am neglecting the thrust component we are neglecting it with the understanding that we know how to handle this if I know how to handle f a y term what was f a y a y is the perturbed aerodynamic force along y direction and also we know at steady state what is true is m v 1 dot plus u 1 r 1 minus w 1 p 1 is equal to m g sin of phi 1 plus phi then cos of theta 1 plus theta plus f a y 1 plus f a y ok. And also we know that we are assuming theta phi all are small such that sin of theta is approximately theta sin of phi approximately phi and cos of theta goes to 1 cos of phi goes to 1 nothing new we are doing right. So, what we will do we will expand this the way we did it for longitudinal case we will substitute this conditions and then simplify and if I give you one more step to just recall what we have done what you have to do for the first equation you write m v 1 plus v dot then plus u 1 plus small u into r 1 plus small r minus w 1 plus small w into p 1 plus small p this is, is equal to m g sin of phi 1 plus small phi in the cos of theta 1 plus theta plus f a y 1 plus f a y. You could easily see this which we have seen for longitudinal case also since at steady state this is true this can be easily taken out from here m v 1 dot then u 1 r 1 w 1 p 1 similarly and expand this uh, sin phi as sin a plus b cos a plus b expand it put this approximation and when you do all this thing you will get an equation. So, you know that as we have done for longitudinal case you have to expand it take out the term because they automatically satisfied use this approximation and also note this is nothing new I am doing also note at steady state v 1 we have taken as 0 cruise phi 1 equal to 0 p 1 equal to q 1 
equal to r 1 equal to psi 1 dot equal to theta 1 dot equal to phi 1 dot all are equal to 0. We are talking about cruise steady level unaccelerated flight. So, this also goes to 0 and now when you put all this thing here you get very simplified equations of the form. So, when I do all those substitution then I get the equation in the y direction the perturbed equations of motion as m v dot plus u 1 r minus w 1 p equal to m g phi cos theta 1 plus f a y cos theta 1 what is theta 1 is the attitude of the airplane during the cruise. So, that did not be 0 okay. that is why you have put kept the theta 1 so far and also note here the moment I put another condition that we are using stability axis stability axis and recall what is stability axis if this is the airplane and this is the normal body x y and z and let us say this is the relative air speed and this is the angle of attack then x s is means that x axis is aligned with the velocity vector in the vertical plane and this becomes z s the advantage is if this is x s and this is z s then naturally w 1 is 0. So, we further simplify this equation and we get we remove this term. So, we get this equal to this in stability axis system. Okay. So, now the equation becomes much simpler. So, I write this equal to this and we should be careful that we are now using stability axis system. The moment I use the stability axis system please understand earlier this i x s i x z were about this x y and this z axis. Now, you are solving everything in stability axis system. So, this i x s i x z i z z i x z they also should be in stability axis system. So, i x s i x z i z z all these should be in stability system. What mathematically it means that you know the moment of inertia about x y z axis this is one axis transformation with alpha. So, you have to calculate the new values of moment of inertia about stability axis system and for that you can directly use transformation which I will just give for completion this is i x x stability axis i z z stability axis i x z stability axis this will be cos square alpha 1 sin square alpha 1 minus sin square alpha 1 sin square alpha 1 cos square alpha 1 sin square alpha 1 and half sin 2 alpha 1 minus half sin 2 alpha 1 and cos 2 alpha 1 into i x x body axis i z z body axis i x z body axis. Okay. This is this you can check any literature how do I do body axis transformation that is if this is x y and z then how the values which are measured with respect to x how can we transform them about another axis which is rotated by angle alpha. Right. You can please cross check this. Okay, the important part what you should understand when I am using this stability axis system how much this moment of inertia going to change because it is the angular motion lateral directional right two motion one is roll one is yaw angular motion how they are getting affected. So, we need to have some numbers with us to get some feel for numbers 
and for completion again I am giving you some sort of an influence matrix where you can easily understand how much it will happen if it is alpha 0 degree and 5 degree I take two cases if I x x b is 10,000 in some unit then alpha 0 it is 10,000 for 5 degree it become 9751 similarly I z z b if it is 23,000 and it becomes 23249 oh sorry for 0 degree it is even same 23000 for this it becomes 23249 similarly i xzb if it is 2000 it remains 2000 of course alpha 0 but here it becomes 841 so it is not really to be ignored because a lot of cross coupling happens through I X Z B and then all this are showing a lot of influence. Okay. So, that is why as a designer we need to have this feel how much percentage this uh, values will change right before you comment on the final result. Okay. If this is true and if we have understood up to this point let me raise this. Now, what was done? Remember, this is F A Y L A and N A there are to be expanded in terms of motion variable and control variable. And we have already seen that this can be written as say F A Y, I can easily write as half rho V square S into C Y P into P B by 2 V 2 U 1 let us say plus C Y R into R b by 2 u 1 c y beta into beta c y delta a into delta a plus c y delta r into delta r. We have seen this how to write this. Now, if I substitute this here and then divide by m, then I can write this equation in a dimensional derivative form which we did for longitudinal case and that would be v dot plus u 1 into r equal to g m will get cancelled g phi cos theta 1 plus y beta into beta or let us go write y beta we write y p into p plus y r into r plus y beta into beta plus y delta a into delta a plus y delta r into delta r. Are you clear what we have done? We know this expansion we have seen because F A Y, what is F A Y? F A Y is half rho V square S into C Y. And what is C Y? C Y is half rho V square S, C Y is C Y function of P R beta delta A delta R. And assuming aerodynamics to be linear, we have expanded this as C y p into p b by 2 u 1 and p b by 2 u 1 you know b by 2 u 1 we have multiplied to non dimensionalize p all the rates right. So, this is the form the equations are taking and if you for if you want to see yourself what will be the value of y beta you could see from here y beta will be what instead of f y I will write this exp expression divide by m. So, beta 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 is here. So, that will be half rho v square s c y beta divided by m. You see, this is half rho v square s c y beta by m, but we know that we will evaluate this at steady state. So, y beta will be written as dynamic pressure q 1 1 this at steady state s c y beta by m. Similarly, if you want to check what will be the expression for y p, it is very simple come here we are actually putting this expression here. So, p is here this is half rho v square s c y p into b by 2 u 1 divided by m. So, y p will be q 1 s b c y by 2 m u 1. 
is not it check yourself here if I take this term this is half rho u 1 square because evaluating at steady state into C y p into p b by 2 u 1. So, this will be divided by m because I am writing in terms of v dot this is v dot is here. So, m we have divided both sides. So, what will happen here is I can see this I can write as y p into p. So, what is y p half rho u 1 square which is q 1 q 1 is here s is here this b remains here b c y is there c y p not c y c y p this 2 is here this 2 is here m is here u 1 is here so u 1 is here ok right. So, that becomes your y p similarly you can check other dimensional derivatives and if you do the similar exercise for lateral and directional case then you will get equation of the form let me write this complete v dot plus u 1 r is equal to g phi cos theta 1 plus y p into p plus y r into r plus y beta into beta plus y delta a into delta a plus y delta r into delta r. Similarly, from the second equation you will get p dot minus a 1 r dot equal to l beta into beta plus l or let me write l p into p same sequence l r into r plus l beta into beta plus l delta a into delta a plus l delta r into delta r and a 1 is nothing but i x z by i x x. Let me write b 1 also here as i x z by i z z. And third equation we will get r dot minus b 1 p dot is equal to n p into p plus n r into r plus n beta into beta plus n delta a into delta a plus n delta r into delta r. We will get these three equations and this will represent short period equation of motion for lateral dynamic case ok. And you have seen that we have made the aerodynamic model fairly simple we have not talked about beta dot there could be delta r dot also, but we are taking a simple case ok. I am sure you will be once you know how to do this you will be able to do this second and third equations. What is important for you to know what are the expression for L p L r L beta so that you can cross check yourself by doing it. So, let me write those L p is q 1 s b square c L p by 2 i x x u 1 that is c that is L p L r is q 1 s b square C L R by 2 I x s u 1 then your L delta A will be q 1 let me write this as B C L delta A by I x s and then if you see L delta R will be q 1 S B C L delta R by I x s then N beta will be equal to Q 1 S B very simple you could see that by I z z then N P will be Q 1 S B square C N P 
by 2 i z z u 1, then n r will be q 1 s b square c n r by 2 i z z u 1. You can find out n delta a and etcetera, etcetera. What I will do, I will be giving page on the whole this expression. You need not remember this, even you need not remember these equations. I am again and again telling you, these are standard once you have to do to make clear and understanding what are these things. Okay. So, now once you have this, then what is the next step? Next step is this is in time domain. We understand if I solve this in time domain. I should be able to track the values of small v, r, p to comment on the dynamic stability of the machine. But we will be following the Laplace transform approach, we will work in the frequency domain in S plane, so that these differential equations become linear algebraic equations. right? So, that will be our next step and then we will find matrix, then we will find the characteristic roots as similar way as we have done for longitudinal case. Right, so I like to stop here, so that you at least digest this. Please remember one thing: no need to remember, no need to cram anything here. Okay, only you understand. If somebody tells you n beta, what should come to your mind? C n beta. What is C n beta? C n beta is directional stability. C n beta should be greater than zero. N p, you should think what is C n p. N r, you should think of C n r. All this derivative I have explained to the sign and etc. last lecture, that is more important as a designer you should have that in your mind, so that you know if you want to increase n beta, how to increase c n beta, whether I increase vertical tail, whether I take a CG backward or I put something with the wing or make the fuselage little differently, so that is what is required from this expression. Okay? Thank you very much.